Sunday to you all. As you can see, I'm in a little bit more conservative outfit today because I have church. Now, it's the old saying, practice what you preach. I always tell my daughter, be where you're at. And I always say to my granddaughter, when she comes here to Burlington, Wisconsin with me, <laughs> I know what I say. I say, let's vacation in Burlington. So here, today as I'm leaving the Church of the Nazarene, I see this pamphlet, Roots of Freedom, walking driving tour across some of the nation's most hallowed ground about the Underground Railroad Burlington, Wisconsin had a huge part in that Underground Railroad freeing many people. My building actually here at Rocket Fun Music TM Records has a memorial in the basement to a mother and a child who were found huddled, deceased, from way back, way, way back. So here, this was at our church, and I, like my mother, always pick up the pamphlets. Hi. Hi. And we have this marker in here. Check this out. Right where I was sitting today, and where I sit every Sunday. Praising the racing of Milwaukee citizens who had freed Clover, meeting participants also passed resolutions repealing the Fugitive Slave Act. In May 1866, legendary abolish, abolitionist and orator Frederick Douglass, himself a former slave, spoke from the church pulpit. Frederick Douglass was at the very building where I attend service. And any of you who are history buffs, know Frederick Douglass's name. So that was really interesting. So if you do come to Burlington, Wisconsin, be sure to check out all the history here. It is incredible. I love it. Now today in music, I was trying to think, well, what subject can we do today? I don't know. I'm trying to get a different camera view because I'm always filming from the same spot. Okay, first let's see what song's on. Well, we all know that. I have become completely numb. Ugh, the song creeps me out. So today in music, let's talk about Elvis. Now, as you can see, I say lemonade the cool refreshing drink that comes from Eddie Murphy's stand-up comedy, how Elvis could sing anything. Now Elvis, as we know, was an original Sun Records recording artist. Did you know Elvis never wrote any of his own songs? Also, did you know that Mac Davis wrote many of his songs and many of the country legends songs? So always keep up on your music history. Now as you can see our Tasmanian devil here is really decked out. We have a lot of, lot of Jimmy Buffett fans out there. I hold almost his entire record collection if you're ever interested. So yeah, peace out. <laughs>